Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire, and I am super excited that you tuned in today. This time we are going to go to Sophia Swing Dance Festival 2021, and I'm going to be watching a live performance by two of my favorite dancers in the world. These two dancers are so special, they're considered elite to me when it comes to my favorite dancers of all time. They're good friends of mine, we've worked together for years, and every time I see them do something new, I know they put their heart into it, and it's gonna be fresh and innovative. I don't know what to expect on this one. I don't know if it's choreographed or if it's just uh, improvised, but I'm just gonna jump right into it and give you guys my thoughts right afterward. Yes. Not disappoint. Okay. You have my attention. <laughs> yes. Come on, Sonia. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, they reversed it. Oh, that's good. We got to talk about this part. Yeah, they've got some amazing close position movement. It's, it's so them, it's so inventive and yet familiar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! Man, oh man, that was refreshing. Oh, wow, guys. That was good. Let me talk about it. <laughs> wow, guys. There are so many great things about this performance. First, I've got to start off by acknowledging the precision of this band with their choreography. It is really hard to choose a band over a recorded piece of music when it comes to choreography because sometimes the bands don't actually get the, the essence of the song in a very detailed way. I mean, you can get the feeling emotionally, you can get the main melody, but those little hits that are in songs that, that really uh, are the spark for the creativity for choreography. It's hard to replicate that live. And I forgot that this was not a recording. This was so precise and detailed. I just, I don't know how they were able to do this with the band. I don't know if they practiced before with the band or if they just worked on their um, individual track and then the band just learned the track and they just worked it out a couple of times in, in rehearsal and then just performed it. I don't know, but that deserves a lot of respect and a giant hand clap. Hector and Sonia are so special, guys. They're the kind of dancers that can appeal both to the, the masses and to the, the hardcore swing dancers. And I would actually say they lean more toward the hardcore swing dancers than just the showy, flashy uh, dancers that appeal to the masses. And I'm not saying that this one doesn't do that. In fact, it does both but I would say it leans more on the hardcore swing dance fanatic. There are some things in this routine, guys, that are so so nuanced that you have to love swing dancing to pay attention to it. I mean, all of their transitions that they're using in this are not conspicuous at all. This says that they love the music as much as they do the dancing, and this part right here I thought was incredibly powerful. You'll see when they come out, 
uh, particularly in this part right here when Sonya and Hector are doing side by side and the perspective is on Sonya from the audience and she's doing a lot of her movements to match the soloists while Hector is hanging on to the rhythm and I think that's really cool and you it kind of comes and goes and they go into some basic movements here and then eventually they work their way back to closed position okay intensity changes here and here's what happens they show us a different perspective and I'm thinking okay what are they doing here all right but this time Hector is on the other side and he's doing the solo part of the musician while Sonya is hanging on to the rhythm stuff like this guys is so so special that you have to literally pay attention to those types of things you just can't look for the new flashy move they're they're beyond just the new flashy move you'll notice a lot of their flashy moves aren't just done all the time they're done in places that you don't really expect it's when the music is modulating and about to transition to something else that's when they're actually using their special moves so that you can pay attention to it wow guys this is so powerful <laughs> I love their dancing so much. It, it's just, it gets better and better and better over time, like sweet wine. Actually, I don't like sweet wine. I like dry wine, but you know what I mean, guys. It's it's that kind of dancing. And I, I just, I really hope that they continue to work years and years from now because there's an era in swing dancing right now that is really special. We have dancers who've been around for 10 years, 15 years, many of them, 20, the rare ones. and they are in good health still. Some of these dancers are in their mid 40s, some of them are in their early 50s, and it's amazing to be able to still have them around and watch their contribution to the, the genre. I know Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, Gene Kelly, a lot of them were in the profession uh, for Hollywood, and so they tended to work with younger dancers as their partners, but they were able to take care of their bodies and contribute some of their best work as they got older, and I wish we have this uh, same type of trend happening in the swing dance profession. The Most of the greatest dancers right now, for me, in my top 10 list, are all in their 30s and in their 40s. And I think that's beautiful when the body can be taken care of, but the ideas are just amazing. And they, they plant some amazing seeds for future dancers to look back and say, wow, that was a special moment. And it continues to push the art form forward. That's what I really hope to see out of this. And uh, I'm inspired, guys. That was really special. Um, you guys keep me going. You keep me wanting to get in the studio and work hard. I don't have air conditioner in my studio, which is my garage, but it's hot here in Oklahoma. And I, I still want to get out there and, and punish myself to come up with something fresh and new. So that's that's what I love about Hector and Sonia. They keep me working. Um, what did you guys think about this one? There were a couple of other dancers that performed at this event. And I think right now, this was my favorite one to look at. Um, just because it's a great balance. It's, it's choreographed. It's also improvised in the right spots. You can lead and follow many of the movements that they're doing, so it doesn't look too formulaic. But overall, I just think the, the way that they put everything together is more special than anything. And the fact that they were able to work with the band in such a precise way, that, just, that was the icing on the cake. To, to really it just make me really love what they just did in this performance. So let me know what you guys thought about this performance in the comments section below. If you guys want some inspiration that I've worked on for years, I've, I've put over 10,000 hours into swing dancing, social dancing. It, it's a lot of work and I had a lot of creativity that has spawned from that time and I recorded a lot of that. So if you want to get access to a lot of those uh, classes and a lot of my original ideas, I encourage you to check it out. It's free. It will inspire you to start uh, putting some skin into the game. It's one thing to do swing dancing, but it's another thing to, to really contribute to the art form and leave a legacy for dancers 100 years from now. So hopefully you guys will be inspired by those moves and uh, encourage you to get on the social dance floor and take a little bit more risk in your own dancing. So with that said, guys, let me know what you thought about Sonia and Hector's performance. This was awesome, jaw-dropping for me on so many different levels. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.